Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the tool shed this fine morning. Today I have a review for you of the Milwaukee 2734-20, which is their 10 inch cordless dual bevel sliding compound miter saw. So I've been out for a while and decided to pick it up. If you've seen my channel, you know I'm a DeWalt guy. I have a lot of tools over there from DeWalt as you can see. For the most part, that's all I use for my construction business. Um, but when I went to get a cordless chop saw from them, it was just too much money. I was able to pick this up for half the price of a new DeWalt 12 inch. And even though it's a couple inches smaller blade, it'll do just fine for me. So anyways, let's get down to the uh, the details here, some of the features. So I'll go through the standard features and some of the features that are unique to this saw. We've got, starting at the base here, you got just standard angle release here. You got detents at several popular spots along the way there. Um, you can just you lock your your base down just by pushing this. If it's free, you just push it down to lock it. Nice and intuitive design there. I like that. Uh, you have a detent override, so if you just pull up this lever on the bottom and then push this over, it's free floating. If you need to perfectly match an angle that's already marked or something like that, it also has a slide lock. You can push back and it'll actually lock that slide for you um, in a safe manner right at the material cut line so it takes the sliding ability away which is nice for if you're just cutting the same thing uh, smaller material or something like that so really like that and then you don't have to use your actual slider clamp which would be very bad and eventually wear out your slider on that side at least so a really well made base here I like the way it's made and milled uh, high quality in my opinion it's got a really nice detent plate here and it's adjustable. That was one thing that I noticed about uh, some of the other saws I was looking at. I was looking at originally a corded saw and getting a really cheap one just to save some money. And some of the cheap ones do not have an adjustable detent plate. And so if your saw is off with the back of your guard at all, which this one wasn't, but sometimes they are, if you get one without an adjustable plate, you're, you're kind of screwed. You gotta make a new mark or, or um, it's just a pain. So. These are, this one's adjustable, you can just undo these screws and move it if you have to. Like I said, mine was fine, but sometimes they, they do come from the factory a little bit off, so you can fix it that way, or over time they can get off. So, nice feature there. That's not a unique feature to Milwaukee. A lot of higher end saws have that, but you know, it was just something to think about. Uh, so moving up to the guards here, the material guards, you, just, you can undo that uh, bolt there, and these will actually pop right out. You can see the cutout right there. And nice feature if you're if you're cutting really deep bevels or something, you can just pop that right off of there so you don't cut through your guard. Same with the other side, same design. It's got a really nice uh, material clamp here, so if you need to clamp your materials, uh, really nice heavy duty design. I like that quite a bit. So, um, and we'll go ahead and move on up here. Obviously, like I said, there's your your uh, slider stop for when you're storing it or moving it or whatever and then you've got right here you've got the, the slides actually in the base which is a unique feature feature to this I haven't noticed any advantages to that specifically but it, it makes it look nice and um, it's a nice smooth and compact design so I guess that is a, an advantage you've got um, I think compared to most saws you've got a, a shorter um, area here for sure that, that you can work with so makes it easier to move easier to put places nice compact design so there are a couple bad things about that which we'll talk about in just a minute but moving up there from your uh, the sliders there's your bevel plate and it's dual bevel so it will go 47 degrees either way and it's got a really nifty way of adjusting that so you've got your your adjustment paddle or flat back here you can just pull it all the way up and you can move your uh, bevel to where you need it and then it also has detents just like your angle plate on the front so if you go halfway and it's already released it'll stop it at 22 and a half and at 45 which I really like I don't know if that's unique to this saw but just the way they do it I think it's pretty nifty and easy to do so so um, let's do that slide that forward there going back here to your um, dust catching unit here this just goes right on the back and 
The bad thing about that is that there's nothing protecting it or keeping it from uh, getting broken. And I'll show you something here in just a minute. There, that's better. Um, just take this off. It just pops right on, slips on there. Um, should have done this before, but anyways, um, I ran into it a couple days after owning it, and sure enough, there's just a plastic guard inside there that broke in half. So um, you can kind of see it there. It's broken on one side. So that's the bad thing about this design. There's no protection for this. Most saws would have a little bit more protection up top here for the the um, bag and, and usually they're a different design anyway so they don't have to don't have to worry about this breaking and coming off so um, but this design I mean a couple days and it's gonna be broken if you're moving it around a drop site. So not a not a deal breaker by any means but just something to think about. So moving up from there we have a blade stop right there so you can just push adjust this screw here and to wherever you want to and it'll actually stop the blade um, at whatever point you need so that you could um, hypothetically kind of dado out material if you need to or cut it at a certain spot um, which is a, a cool feature for sure and if you don't want that this just flips up so it's got the battery right there it just takes one battery which is nice and then you've got a light, nice bright LED light that comes on right and shines on the blade. No laser, but that's okay, in my opinion. And then up here you've got your two-stage safety trigger. So you just pull this over and then you can pull it over. So it's got a slow start, and uh, but it has plenty of power once it gets once it gets going. You got a handle right here, which is really nice as well. So um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a cool saw. I've enjoyed it so far. I haven't used it much, but I would definitely recommend it. I think for the price point, even even if you get it from a box store or online, it's cheaper for sure than some of the other saws out there. And, uh, you know, the, the fact, the advantages being it's got one battery, it's got nice short profile. Um, it's easy, so it's easy to move. It's easy to maneuver with all the handles and stuff and uh, does a really good job for a cordless chop saw. You're not going to not going to get a better deal right now at least on a cordless one so um yeah i would i would recommend it if you're looking for one and and uh on a budget um it's a pretty good saw so uh, if you like this video got anything out of it i'd really appreciate a like or a thumbs up um that helps me out a lot and if you want to see more reviews like this go ahead and subscribe to the channel i'd appreciate it thanks a lot for watching